entrepreneurship better than employment. Let's settle this age old argument. To start off, you need some level of skill set to get started with either one of them, either formal or informal. And in most cases, the expectation that that education is acquired formally is higher in employment than it is in entrepreneurship. Additionally, you need capital to become an entrepreneur. It takes around three to seven years for a business to break even. And in that time, most entrepreneurs do not get paid by their businesses. But in employment, you get paid straight off the bat. Once and if the business does break even, entrepreneurs out unemployed people faster and by well over 50% in their lifetime. Let's talk about risk. The percent chance that your business succeeds in the first five years is 50% or less. And if an entrepreneur fails, the percent chance that they go on to begin other businesses that are successful is only 30%. But you can also get fired from employment. 40% of adults have been fired in their lifetime. However, over 80% of those employed people who have been fired go on to get other jobs. The time you invest varies greatly by the kind of company you work for and the kind of business you have. However, employees are more likely to be able to achieve a 40 to 50 hour work week in the first five years than entrepreneurs are. That's because there's so much to figure out when the business is starting out. And so entrepreneurs end up working well over 70 hours when the business is just starting out. And even if they become successful because of how obsessed they are with this problem, they work more than employees. You have a lot more flexibility to determine what your day looks like and what you work on as an entrepreneur. Because entrepreneurs get to pick and choose what they work on, there's a recorded higher level of satisfaction amongst entrepreneurs than there is amongst employees. Pivoting or changing course as an employee is a lot cheaper and in many cases very lucrative, while as an entrepreneur it will cost you a lot of money many times in the millions to pivot your business from one thing to another. Finally, depending on your personal goals, your resources, your access to networks, the percent chance of succeeding in either entrepreneurship or employment varies greatly by person. So there's no one size shoe fits all. And so let's stop glamorizing or romanticizing one option over the other.